Hey there, and welcome back to another episode on our channel. I'm Leslie, behind the cameras with brother Jody, and we are still on our Italy road trip. We have a fantastic location for you guys here today. Turn around, Jody, just show them what we are looking at. These are two beautiful aircraft standing in the middle of some sort of a, yeah, amusement park-like thing. So we are figuring out what the story was behind these two incredible aircraft crafts that are standing here in the middle of nowhere. So we found out that a businessman in the year 2000 had the incredible idea to build some sort of amusement park. Yeah, it's not really an amusement park, but it's like more like a dining park with a swimming pool and a DJ and a theater and everything with it. And he wanted to have these two aircraft as the centerpiece of this, of this park. So uh, in the year 2000, he bought two uh, aircraft and converted them into restaurants. So that's what we are looking at at the moment. And now you're asking yourself probably why are these things abandoned? Because everyone wants to dine in such a place, right? I would, I would come here every week, just sit inside of the aircraft, maybe swim, swim a little bit. But the people of the town around here uh, were not amused with these two aircrafts. They said that it blocked the view, that it was not, not fitting into the town. So they, from the day that this man started this restaurant and this, this park, they um, just got a legal battle against him from year 2000 to the year 2014 when they finally won and he had to close down the place. Finally, I'm not happy with that because I wanted to see this place live on forever. But yeah, it's unfortunate for the man that such a beautiful place had to be closed down. I'm gonna take you on a tour around the place, try to show you inside of the aircraft. I think they are closed, but we're gonna try to get in there and uh, yeah, just show around, show you around this incredible place. Let's do that. The owner of this place, he was a retired aircraft pilot and he made some money from that and he decided to yeah, live on his dream and show people what it is like to be inside of an aircraft because not everybody in the year 2000 had been inside of an aircraft. It was not a luxury, uh, it was not a commodity like we do nowadays, we just take an aircraft and go, but then it was more like a luxury. You can see we had two aircrafts and we even had a helicopter over, the, over there. So he wanted the people of Italy to experience being inside of an aircraft and also he designed the place with beautiful uh, replicated Renaissance art that we can see over here, some incredible Italian statues that have been made by Leonardo da Vinci and uh, other famous artists, but these are of course replicas as we can see. But he wanted the people to experience that, so that's very nice of him. I hate the people who shut them, shut them down because this is so nice. Here we can get a great overview of the aircrafts with the pool. They did pool parties over here and everything. Maybe the people were even mad about it because it was pretty loud and stuff like that. It's a big pool. Yeah, it's a nice pool actually. I think we need to go under here some sort of a tunnel. Maybe you can see something else maybe from the pool. So we have these two airplanes over here. The first one is a Tupolev Tu-145 for the people that are interested. And we got the other one, that's a Douglas jet airplane. That's a DC-6 airplane. These are pretty old airplanes actually. I think they are around 40 to 50 years old because he needed something cheap uh, to build a restaurant in. So he decided to take these two aircrafts because if you take new aircraft, that would just be crazy. Okay, let's just head down the tunnel here, John, because maybe we can see something from the pool over here. Oh, these are the changing rooms. It's maybe also interesting. Not that much to see, actually. Nah, just head down the pool. This is crazy. So it even had a little sitting area over here, maybe with some cocktails you could sit here. Then the kids would be playing in the pool, the parents would be eating in the restaurants over there, be enjoying themselves. This was a, people all over Italy came to this place because it was so well known and so well perceived. So we had the entrance of the airplanes over here. The bar, you could get your drinks over here. They were served over, served over here, or there were waiters inside of the planes. But let's check out the inside of one of these planes. 
quite excited for it. Oh my gosh. Have a look at this. This is the nicest dining experience that I've ever seen. Whoa. Maybe we can walk through. And afterwards we check out the cockpit. Incredible. About 10 different tables to sit at. Completely designed like you were in an aircraft. With the aircraft seats and everything. Look at the tables here, Johnny. Airplanes. Okay, this was one of the artists that the, the owner used as to decorate this place. At the back of the aircraft over here, we have sort of some sort of a yeah, a lounge or something like that, maybe for groups. It's so hot in here, Jody. It's killing me. <laughs> Sweat is on my face. Look over here. You even still have the bells to call the waiter and all the things are left behind, like the airco, the light from the airplane. The luggage space up here. Let's check out the cockpit. Wow. <laughs> I'm just smiling inside of this place. Some sort of a private table over here. Wow, this cockpit is freaking cool. Check this out. This why are Soviet airplanes, to my knowledge. And they are probably around 60 years old so the gauges are all analog as you can see and i think this was a pretty difficult plane to fly all the switches are still in here Whoa. okay let's check out the other plane <laughs> some more <laughs> Look at all these switches, it's just crazy. Let's go to the other plane right now, that's just on the other side over here. Back through the bar, reception. First off, I wanna check this out. So the restaurant was named... Oh, that's cool. You can see the prices over here. It's from the year 2000, so with inflation, these prices were pretty high to my opinion. Because in Italy normally you pay like 15 euros for a steak or something like that. These prices are pretty high with inflation cal calculated by it. We have the toilets over here. Italian style, French style toilet, toilet down here. With a pretty modern setup. This building we are standing in right now is designed like a cockpit, so that's insane. We have the kitchen over here. But I think you're wrong. What? I think it's more like a flight tower. What did I say? Oh, it's cockpit. A <laughs> no, it's a flight tower. Sorry, I'm wrong. My it matches with Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a flight tower that you can see where they control all the planes that are going out of the airport. You can see the kitchen right here. So the kitchen is in the flight tower, actually. Mm. And the big pizza oven. Why are there airplane seats over here? Maybe for extra. <laughs> extra seats. <laughs> wow. You can see over here the kitchen is still left. Nothing, not gonna bother you with that. But let's go into the other airplane right now. So they had two restaurants, so around mm, over here there might have been like 20 tables, 80 people, 160 people might have been inside of this place. And outside you could even sit, so a lot of people could enjoy themselves inside of this place. This is the other aircraft, this is the propeller aircraft that we're in right now. It's also very, very nice. And this one is all uh, even higher up, so you can stand up quite high here. They really covered every detail. Yeah, a lot of... See that upholstery here to the side, Charlie? It's nicely upholstered, everything. So maybe for the handbags for the women, they could light them in here. Also with the lights in there. Yeah, lights. These are gold and everything. Yeah, gold plated, of course. The tables, all thought of. All in the name of the restaurant. So beautiful. Oh, I'm sweating my ass off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's check out this cockpit. Damn, this one is also 
pretty. This even this plane is probably even older, older than the other plane because this is a propeller plane, and jet airplanes were around the 1960s. Propeller planes were before that. But look at the gauges and everything. It's just. I've always wanted to become an aircraft pilot, but I never did it because of the maths. <laughs> this is exactly what the man wanted. He wanted people to come to his restaurant and experience what it's like to be inside of an aircraft. And as you can see, the cockpit is just open so people could come to the restaurant. Maybe the children could even sit in the seats, take a picture together inside of the cockpit and have that real aircraft experience because in a commercial airline you can't even see the cockpit and over here they could just sit inside of it it's amazing this man had a heart of gold it was a real dream a real dream for him and they just took it away from him i want to thank you very much for watching this week's video it was a beautiful dream of this italian millionaire to build this place and it got taken away from him but the story behind it and just this heart of gold to build this place and show, share it with the people of Italy was amazing to see. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I found it incredible to explore this place. Jordi as well and we thank you very, very much for watching this week's video. Please like, subscribe and comment. Uh, hit that little bell notification button because we are still on the Italy road trip and you don't want to miss an episode. There's also a little link in the description for Patreon. Check that out as well. That helps us making these documentaries and traveling to the places because it's pretty expensive for our students. With that all said, guys, I want to thank you very much and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Love you.